I'm gonna add some curly parsley because retro food styling. But is that all that's on the plate? Hi, I'm Alexis Deboshnik, and I'm back making another retro recipe from a vintage Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Today, I'm gonna be making something called crab stuffed artichokes. I love artichokes, I don't eat them enough. I also love crab. I've never had them together, but I don't see why it couldn't be great. I just have to point out before we get started that this is in the vegetable section, which is comical because it's mostly like crab and mayonnaise. So the recipe says to break the crab meat apart. Kind of already is broken up, so don't really have to do too much. Okay, and now the onion and bell pepper gets added. And the Swiss cheese, okay. The recipe says to mix the mayo and lemon juice separately and then add it here, which honestly just feels like a waste of dishes to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it straight in. They love baking mayonnaise. They were like, mayo's in it, we're gonna bake it. Okay, I think the filling is ready. That was very easy. Next up, it says to remove the leaves. So the recipe is calling for a cooked artichoke, which makes it easy. I really love eating the leaves, like not the whole leaf, but like that. So I'm gonna save these for later. I've got four artichokes prepped. This recipe says it serves five. There's a real through line here of recipes serving five. I feel like today we're like two, four, six, you know, even numbers. 1950s, they love serving five. The question here is like, when are you serving this? Is this an appetizer? Is it a side? It's a vegetable, there's crab, like what's happening here? Right now I'm just gonna remove the kind of prickly bits at the center of the artichoke. It should peel back pretty easily. Then trim the bottom off. See, a lot of work just to get this. I'm just gonna add this to a bowl of lemon juice. This is just gonna keep it from discoloring. Fill the artichokes with crab salad, place in a baking dish. And it doesn't say how much to fill them up with, but does that look good? I think that's kind of enough. I think it'll overflow if it's more than that. I'm so intrigued. I mean, I do love crab salad. This does sound good. I mean, they're very cute. I'm also curious, like, how melty is the cheese gonna get? What's gonna happen here? Okay, now I've gotta pour water in it, and I'm guessing that's just to cook the artichokes a little longer, steam it. This, I, this is wild to me. Some of the proportions in these recipes don't feel like they totally align. This is saying it serves five, there's five artichokes, but look how much crab is left over. Good news for me personally, love crab salad, but strange. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in the oven, bake it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, my artichokes are done. I'm so excited to see what they look like. Interesting. The cheese has melted, which, love melted cheese, very exciting for me. They're kind of cute. Yeah, when are you eating this? I'm gonna add some curly parsley because 50s, they love curly parsley. Retro food styling. But is that all that's on the plate? I'm so curious. Ooh, okay. I will say the warm mayo and like melty cheese looks Pretty good. Mmm, I love this dish, who knew? I wouldn't have thought to put crab and artichoke together, but it totally works. So many recipes in the 50s loved putting like mayo with any type of protein and then baking it. And I have to say, I kind of miss that because it's delicious. I wasn't sure about re-steaming the artichokes, but it really works. I'd be pretty excited if someone served this as an appetizer today. When I make artichokes, I usually just boil them and like serve it with an aioli or a tartar sauce. So I was doing some research on Better Homes and Gardens to see what kind of recipes like other people are making today. I found an Asiago artichoke dip, which kind of feels like spinach artichoke dip and you know, is a nod to the Swiss cheese in here. I'm like, I wanna go home and make that today. Let me know in the comments what your favorite way to eat artichokes is and if you would ever try this at home.